Hi. So, how do you start a video to encourage people to do better things? I do not have the answers. Not at all. No one's asked me. This is I'm doing this off my own back. No one said you should have the answers. You tell us. I do not have the answers, and I do not know. All I know is if you can do something to help someone no matter how big or small that thing is that you could do do it if you if someone says to you you look like crap today if you have a really bad night's sleep you feel like crap for the rest of the day without a doubt if you've said to me i'm like oh cheers now i feel like crap like my day just got worse for one comment so imagine if you said to someone, hey, I like your shirt, I li like, you look good today, you going out later, anything. Little things like that, they count and they make a difference in people's lives. So, if you could do something a little bit bigger, such as try not to say things that again offend because I don't want to do that because like I said I don't know the answers but if you could do something like okay you're at the supermarket and someone's struggling an old lady's struggling with her shopping bags or something ask her if she wants help she they may people may say no people may say I don't want your help leave me alone but you've offered you've done something good because you want to and that's the main thing you can't you can't force people to do something that they don't want to do. End of. So, where is this going, Kirsty? I don't know. Right, last night, um, I was I spent a lot of time. I have an iPhone, so I spent a lot of time on my iPhone, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, all them news of the world, all that type of things. So last night I was flicking through, and this thing kept coming out. Red background black writing with this word that meant nothing to me this word I don't want to say it because I don't want to this video isn't just about this and I want to make this clear this word was Coney, Connie, Coney, Connie, whatever Coney 2012 and I'm thinking oh what's that like that that makes like it means nothing to me and uh, people were posting different videos on Facebook and things and I was like oh 30 minute video I could not be bothered to watch that. That is honestly what I thought. Like I was like, I am not watching that. I do not have the time. I had the time. I just couldn't be bothered. So, I went to sleep. I got up this morning and thought, all right, okay, what can I do? All right, I'll read some more tweets and stuff. And this thing keeps coming back up. Like I'd forgot about it. Like I didn't dream about anything. Coney, 2012, 2012. Coney, make Coney famous. I'm like, who is, who or what is this Coney thing? So then I found out and I watched the videos and I read as much as you can read in a few hours of all different opinions and all different sides. Now I struggle with the idea of people saying, I really don't want to offend people, people saying, why should we help? And I don't just mean with this, this is just coming up because of the morning that I spent <laughs> fighting this little corner. And people are sort of getting lost in the whole, well, where does the money really go to? As I say, not just with this, with every organisation, every charity and everything. Where does the money go to? What I can't do anything, I'm just one person. It's not going to make a difference. It's the main thing that people aren't saying the words, it's not going to make a difference, but people are basically saying that. People are saying, why should I? Like, what can I do? I'm one person, what can I do? And it grates me not a lot gets to me i'm quite like oh, that's your opinion that's your opinion whatever but i just i don't get it i don't get how people can be in the mindset of why should i or no i'm not going to do that because i don't see the point of doing that i just don't understand it because for me if you see an old person struggling on the street with their bag and they are on their own if you say that I'm not going to go and help that person because what's the point they're going to fall over again, how is that? I don't understand that. I don't understand the 
idea of I don't want to try because even when I've tried it's gonna happen again like why I mean and I'm I mean I'm 23 I'm young but I am old enough to decide to move in with my fiance get engaged get married we are getting married um I've got I, I mean like I'm quite sensible kind of boring sensible but I don't know I feel like I get a lot of oh you're so young you don't really understand but that doesn't mean my opinion doesn't count and with the Coney thing the the people that are coming forward are the young people and that might be because we're more impressionable and blah 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 or it just could be because we're on Facebook more we're on the internet more you know we have more time we don't do a lot with our lives <laughs> we spend most of our lives on the internet but it's branched out so much it's such a good thing and a lot of people have said why should I share that video it's nothing's gonna happen that's not gonna save someone's life okay you particularly you sharing your video from you to me might not change someone's life but 12 shares down the line it might get to someone who will be like I can do something about this and I can get off my ass and I can help them or it might not it might not but what who are you hurting not sharing that video I think you really need to think about that and not just the video who are you hurting not doing anything and this goes with everything bullying and people going out of the way I think people go out of the way too much to hurt people instead of just going instead of saying saying a bad thing take a couple of words out, swap them for something else and say something nice or don't say anything at all. Did we not all get taught when we were younger? If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And I don't think I've ever, I hope I've never said to someone your opinion doesn't count or what you're saying is right or wrong. Because I, I don't think there ever is a definitive line of you're right or you're wrong. And the reasons that people are saying I don't want to do this or I do want to do this are probably valid to that person I just don't get it. I'm not slagging anybody off whatsoever. I'm just asking for, I don't know, maybe open your arms a bit. Or don't do anything about it at all. If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I think that's where I'm going. So, a bit of a revelation for the day. I do this a lot because I watch a lot of things online and all these self-helps and do this for you because it'll make you feel so good and go and exercise because it'll make you feel healthy and eat better and blah 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 and all this. So, challenge. I'm going to call it a challenge because it's hard. It's hard to be nice to people. It shouldn't be, but it is. And this is what I've had this morning as well. A lot of people saying, well, so and so did it and so and so did it and then she said this and he said this and I'm just like, well just don't it's got the cycle has always got to break somewhere be the person to break the cycle of meanness no matter how big and small whether you're at school whether you are walking down the street and you just like glare at someone like what's that about you don't need to do that just don't look don't look and I think it's really funny when people are writing on Facebook and they write loads and I get this a lot because I was like oh we have found so in love and we're doing the wedding and we're doing this and blah and people are like oh just shut up and like just don't say don't read it don't say anything no one's forcing you to be my friend on Facebook no one and this is my thing no one's forcing you to watch this video no one forces you to give money to charity no one forces you to wear a red nose no one forces you do you know like Hoods of Bear isn't knocking on your door saying if you don't give me a fiver I'm going to do mean things to you it's not like that people do things because they want to feel good about themselves and it is it's probably selfish to say I did that and now I feel good about myself but the person that you've done the good thing for feels good too so surely it's better to do something good and make yourself feel good than not do anything at all so challenge do something good every day how hard can it be it can be really hard can it be? do something good for yourself for someone else no matter how big or small if you see someone at work and they look a bit down, your hair looks really nice today. That they might just be like, "Oh, shut up! I feel like crap today. Do not talk to me." But they might be like, "Oh, thanks. Thank you very much." Yeah, I didn't really try this morning, as I didn't. Or like, 
you can't see but here is a massive pile of clothes that I need to put away and kitten has just broken my drawer for me today my good thing I'm gonna clean this room because it makes you feel better tidy area tidy mind so that's my good thing for today I'm gonna clean and to do a double good thing some of this crap in here is Sam's too so I'm gonna clean that and put that in a helpful place for him because I want to do it because I want to maybe it's hard for people to want to do things I don't know even if you have to say if I do this then I can have a chocolate bar that's not healthy Kirsty mm -hmm. or if I help this person then I can watch an extra episode of Dexter tonight or I'm not going to watch Jeremy Kyle until I have text my mum to tell her I love her. You know? So much easier to be nice than it is to be mean. And that goes for all you people out there. <laughs> ah, I just don't get why people are mean. I don't get it. Stop being mean. Or be mean behind people's backs. Don't be mean to people. And don't hurt people. I cannot imagine what it must feel like to be laid, not even in a bed, to be laid on a floor at night, being scared that someone is going to come and kidnap you and rape you and murder you, murder your family. And that isn't just this Cody guy. I know it happens. It happens all over. It's probably happening within a few miles from me. Someone is being hurt right now. You can't save everyone, but you doing something small might lead to something big and if it doesn't you've still done something small and it's easier to do something nice than it is to do something mean. I don't know. It's just an idea. Be nice to people. So I'm just rambling now. I just it's hard for me. I'm I'm really struggling to figure it out. I, I keep putting it through my head and just thinking what would make me say I'll be asked to do that, what's the point? Like, I don't think I've ever said that in my life. I don't know. Hmm. So go do something nice and do something nice for me today and in turn will that will end up doing something nice for Sam. And I might even be nice to someone at work. Could be you, you could be the lucky person. <laughs> I'm nice to people every day, but just that one little comment on one that that one little thing. Make a cup of tea for somebody. Give someone a hug. Nozzy, do you want to go? <laughs> He's like staring at me. Okay, bye. I'm going to tidy this room up. I'm going to text my mum and dad, telling them I love them. I'm going to text my fiance again because last night he came, well he texted me saying, "What are you doing?" And I was like, I've just got home, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you texting me? And he was like, do you want to shave my head? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I always want to do things like that. And I've never shaved anyone's head before. He'd never had a shaved head before. So last night we shaved his head. And we videoed the whole thing. But we only put a little bit of it online. But he's got a shaved head. So I might text him and just... Tell him how cute I think he looks with his shaved head. Because not everyone's nice. Trust me, people are not nice. There is no need for someone to say, you look like crap. But people do it. Brush it off. <laughs> so gangster. And say, oh, thank you. I really like your shoes. Because trust me, they will be like, oh, crap. Because <laughs> people expect you to go, yeah, well, you're a bitch. Don't do that. Go. Thank you for your negative comment of the day. I really like the t-shirt you're wearing. Where did you get it from? I'll just go, okay, thanks, and walk off. Right, so do something nice for someone today and every day. Don't stop. You're just not wasting time being nice to people and doing nice things for people. And this doesn't have to mean money. I don't. This is another thing. Why should I give my money to charity? Don't then. Don't give your money to charity. But tell somebody else about the charity because someone else might want to. Or do something that might help them. Today I painted my nails. 
saying Coney 2012. Put it on Instagram, send it around. Someone in the world will see that and be like, what's Coney? I hope it's Coney, Coney, whatever. What is it? And then they'll go and YouTube it or Google it, hopefully. Or they might say to someone, do you know what this is? This crazy girl's put this on her nails. What the hell does this mean? That's what I did. That's how I found out about it. And I have spread the word about that. And I do support that. But you might not, and that's okay. If you don't want to support that, that's fine. But please do not say to me that you're not supporting it because you can't be asked. If you've got a reason not to, that's fine. That's your reason. But I, I don't believe that I can't be bothered because it won't make a difference counts. That's what I believe. I might be wrong. But that's what I believe. And if you share, we can share together. We're not going to save the world, are we? We're never going to save the world. There's no such thing as world peace. And that... I think if we ever do find world peace, then the aliens will come down and go, what are you doing? You're doing it wrong. You should be fighting each other. But, grown-ups make decisions. When people are hurting children, when people are hurting innocent people, it's not on. I don't think anyone can sit back and go, yeah, whatever, that's fine. I don't care if that's going on. Whether you've got kids, you haven't got kids. Whether you, Some of you might hate kids, but you'd be like, oh, I hate kids, but don't want them to be raped I don't want them to have to kill their parents I don't want them to be stuck in a gas chamber with their family I don't want them to be attacked because of their color it's all over the news today oh I'm rambling so much but it's so hard there's no right or wrong way to say it but just do something good for someone today and tomorrow no matter how big or small and let me know if you do something because if you hear someone else say something, if you know that someone's done something good for someone, it sort of makes you go, ooh, that was nice of them. Maybe I could do that. Yeah. Let me know if you do something nice. No matter how big or small. Big or small. This is my other nice thing for the day. Are you ready? Come here. Oh, let's have a cuddle. <laughs> Yay. Cuddle, cuddle. Yeah. Hey, be nice to people. Don't be mean. Okay. <laughs> My nice thing was letting him go and lay back in the sun. Good boy. You say hi. Go look at the dirty machine. Hi. Good oh boy. So go be nice to people. Let me know if you were nice. And if you want my true views on Coney and all that, then add me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and things like that because I think it's easier to write something down than it is to have a one-way conversation with a laptop and get it all twisted around you. I'm really not trying to offend anybody. I'm sorry if I have. Don't take it to heart. There are worse people in the world that are doing worse things than me sitting here saying, please do something nice for someone. So, before you start getting on your high horse about it, just breathe, think it through. And go and be nice to someone instead. Okay, so. Bye.